Welcome to our lesson on primary research methods. Here we'll discuss four popular methods, focus groups, interviews, questionnaires, and online surveys. We'll explore their advantages and disadvantages to help you choose the best approach for your research needs. Let's dive in. Focus groups are structured discussions led by a moderator involving a small group of participants. They are typically used to explore opinions, feelings, and attitudes towards a specific topic, product, or service. Advantages include that respondents are able to build on each other's answers. This helps to improve the depth and detail of the responses, and so the quality of the data. You can get responses from a wider group of people than with an interview. This makes them generally more cost-effective. And unlike questionnaires, focus groups allow you to alter questions to fit the ongoing conversation to help draw out more detailed answers. Disadvantages include that respondents can influence each other's answers, as it can be difficult to go against the rest of the group, even when you have a different opinion. The data produced from focus groups is qualitative. This type of data is more difficult to analyze, especially by a computer. And assembling a group of people together at the same time may be difficult. If it isn't convenient for the participants, they will not attend. Interviews involve one-on-one -on -one conversations between a researcher and a participant. They can be conducted in person, over the phone, or via video conference. Advantages include that Interviews are very good for drawing out detailed responses through follow-up questions. This can also be used to provide greater clarity and ensure questions are fully understood. And greater honesty in responses can be gained. The interviewer can develop good personal contact and understanding with the respondent, and this helps draw out more honesty. Disadvantages include that Interviews take a long time to gather information from a wide range of people. This means it isn't cost-effective where a large number of responses are required. And the data gathered from interviews is typically much more qualitative than questionnaires, and so is difficult to analyze. Questionnaires are a series of written questions designed to gather information from participants, either in person or via mail. Advantages include that it is good for gathering information from a large group in a relatively short space of time. This provides a lot more data to analyze, which makes our findings more reliable. Every respondent answers the exact same questions. This helps to remove bias from our findings and improves the consistency of our data. And questionnaires can be completed anonymously. This can potentially lead to more honest responses. Disadvantages include that poorly worded questions can introduce bias into your results or can be misinterpreted by respondents, leading to inaccurate results. It can be difficult to get in-depth answers as most questions are closed and follow-up questions cannot be asked based on responses. And response rates are usually very poor. If users are busy or don't feel that it will benefit them in any way, it is easy for them to ignore the questionnaire. Online surveys are electronic questionnaires sent to a large number of participants via a dedicated platform. Advantages include that Online surveys allow researchers to gather data from as many participants as possible, more than any other method which makes our results very robust. Online surveys are cheap to distribute and gather results. There are many free platforms for creating online surveys and you can share them publicly on social media to get lots of respondents. And online surveys can have the option to generate the results automatically for structured questions, which means the researcher does not have to analyze the data. Disadvantages include that Participants are unlikely to complete time-consuming online surveys. Online surveys are only accessible to people who have access to a computer and the internet. It may mean you don't get results from poorer and elderly groups. And online surveys that are only shared to a few platforms can result in biased results as the survey only reaches one kind of a participant who all fall into the same category. In conclusion, we have covered four primary research methods, focus groups, interviews, questionnaires, and online surveys. Each method has its unique advantages and disadvantages, which should be considered when choosing a primary research method.